Hello Immortal News family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours we have received the somber news of the passing of extraordinary talents, and today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Before we start, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Number 6. Brian Bartzik, a renowned reptile enthusiast and influential figure in the world of wildlife education, passed away at the age of 54 after a valiant battle with pancreatic cancer. His passing leaves a significant void in the hearts of those who admired his work and shared his passion for reptiles and wildlife. His journey began with a deep fascination for reptiles, leading him to become one of the most recognizable figures in this field. His ability to share his passion with a global audience transformed him into a beloved mentor and friend to many. His work at the Reptarium Reptile Zoo stood as a testament to his commitment to educating people about these often misunderstood creatures. His impact extended far beyond the physical space of his zoo. Brian was a visionary who utilized social media and television to spread his message, starring in Discovery Channel's Venom Hunters and establishing a significant presence on YouTube. With 5.26 million subscribers, his channel was a hub of knowledge, excitement, and advocacy for reptile conservation. As the founder of Legacia Aquarium and the owner of the third largest collection of snakes in the world, Brian's contribution to the study and preservation of reptiles was immense. His work in venom milking was not just for fascination, but also contributed to medical research. He leaves behind his wife Lori and their two children, Noah and Jade. The memorial to be held in Sterling Heights, Michigan will be a moment for family, friends and fans to celebrate his extraordinary life. Brian Bartzik's legacy is one of passion, education, and an undying love for reptiles. His work inspired countless individuals to look at wildlife with awe and respect. He will be remembered not just as a reptile enthusiast, but as a beacon of inspiration in wildlife education. Tribute to Brian Bartzik. Number 5. Elizabeth Trissenar, an Austrian actress of remarkable talent and depth, passed away at the age of 79. Her legacy in the world of acting is characterized by a diverse range of powerful performances, both on stage and on screen. Born in 1944, her journey in the arts was marked by an unwavering commitment to her craft and an ability to bring complex characters to life. Her career began with a role at the Bern Theater in 1964, after studying at the Max Reinhardt Seminar in Vienna. Her talent soon found a home at the Schauspiel Frankfurt, where she excelled in roles such as Nora Helmer in A Doll's House, and the title role in Hedda Gabler by Ibsen, as well as Medea by Euripides. These performances not only showcased her range, but also cemented her status as one of the most important Austrian actresses of her time. Her collaboration with Rainer Werner Fassbinder brought her to the forefront of cinema, featuring in works such as The Station Master's Wife, In a Year of Thirteen Moons, and The Marriage of Maria Braun. Her roles in Robert Van Ackeren's films and her performance in the Oscar-nominated Angry Harvest displayed her versatility and her capacity to imbue her characters with profound depth and humanity. Her personal life was intertwined with the arts, being married to director Hans Neuenfels until his passing, and raising their son, film director Benedict Neuenfels. Her influence extended beyond her own performances as she shared her wisdom and experience with younger generations. The recipient of the German Critics Award in 1981, Trissenar's career was marked by a series of memorable and critically acclaimed performances. Her roles in film and television, from Miss Julie to Berlin Alexanderplatz, showcased a talent that was both versatile and deeply emotive. Her passing leaves a void in the acting world, but her legacy lives on through the powerful performances she gave and the many lives she touched. Her ability to bring characters to life 
to tell stories that resonate with audiences will continue to inspire and captivate. Tribute to Elizabeth Trissinar. Number 4. Dana Ghia, born Felicita Ghia, was an esteemed Italian actress, singer, and model who graced the entertainment world with her diverse talents. She passed away in January 2024 at the age of 91, leaving behind a rich legacy that spans various facets of the performing arts. Born in Milan, Italy, Ghia began her career as a runway model, showcasing the elegance and grace that would become her hallmark. Her transition to singing in 1953 marked the beginning of a multifaceted career. She gained prominence after participating in the RAI contest for newcomers, Primo Applauso, in 1956. Her voice, imbued with warmth and depth, resonated with audiences, leading her to feature as a vocalist in several RAI variety shows and record numerous singles. Her foray into acting saw her taking on a variety of character roles in films and television series between 1963 and 1977. Her filmography is a testament to her versatility and talent as an actress. Notable films like Burn, The Bloodstained Butterfly, and California showcase her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters, making each performance memorable. Beyond her professional achievements, Dana Ghia's life in the arts was marked by a constant evolution, adapting and thriving in different mediums, she was not just an actress or a singer, but a true artist who embraced the full spectrum of her creative abilities. Her contribution to Italian cinema and music leaves a strong mark on the cultural landscape. Her performances, imbued with passion and authenticity, have inspired audiences and fellow artists alike. As we remember her, we celebrate not just her achievements, but the spirit of creativity and dedication she embodied throughout her career. Dana Ghia's journey through life was as dynamic and captivating as the roles she played. She leaves behind a legacy that will continue to inspire future generations of artists. Tribute to Dana Ghia. Number 3. Norm Sneed, a distinguished figure in the world of American football and a four-time Pro Bowl quarterback, passed away at the age of 84. His 16-season career in the NFL during the 1960s and 70s left a lasting impact on the sport, celebrated for both his skill and his resilience. His journey in professional football began as the second overall pick in the 1961 NFL Draft by Washington, after a stellar collegiate career at Wake Forest where he set more than a dozen conference records. His choice of Washington over the Buffalo Bills, who also drafted him, marked the start of an illustrious career that saw him excel despite the challenges of playing in a highly competitive era. During his initial three seasons with Washington, Sneed made a significant impact, earning two Pro Bowl appearances. His trade to the Philadelphia Eagles for Sonny Jurgensen and Claude Crabb was a pivotal moment, not only for him, but also for the teams involved. With the Eagles, Sneed spent seven seasons, and despite the team's struggle to reach the playoffs, his individual brilliance shone through. He was again selected for the Pro Bowl in 1965, a testament to his exceptional ability as a quarterback. His career was marked by his adaptability and perseverance. He played for several teams toward the end of his career, including Minnesota, the New York Giants, and San Francisco, demonstrating his ability to continually compete at the highest level. His record at Wake Forest, where he earned all ACC honors twice and humorously noted his prowess in throwing football, speaks to the blend of talent and humility that defined his character. Sneed's induction into the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame in 1984 was a fitting tribute to a native son who excelled in multiple sports. His legacy in the NFL is marked by his impressive statistics and the respect he garnered both on and off the field. His contributions to the sport and the influence he had on future generations of players will be remembered for years to come. Tribute to Norm Sneed.
Number 2. Carl's Falcon, a passionate and skilled Spanish motorbike rider, tragically passed away at the age of 45 following a crash at the Dakar Rally. His untimely demise leaves a void in the world of motorsports, especially among the community of rally enthusiasts who admired his dedication and spirit. His life was one deeply intertwined with motorbikes, a passion that was not just a hobby, but a way of life. Born in Tarragona, Spain, he grew up surrounded by motorbikes, a setting that fueled his lifelong commitment to the sport. His achievements included completing the challenging Dakar Rally in 2022, a testament to his skill, resilience, and dedication. Beyond the racetracks, Falcon contributed to the motorbike community as an IT engineer, instructor, and tour guide. His role in teaching others about motorbiking, marked by patience, energy, and happiness, underscores his love for sharing his passion with others. His approach to teaching was not just about imparting skills, but also about spreading the joy of motorbiking, making it accessible and enjoyable for all. His loss is profoundly felt not just by his family, friends, and teammates, but also by the wider community of motorbike enthusiasts and those who had the privilege of learning from him. Falcon's legacy is one of passion, joy, and the pursuit of dreams. He will be remembered for his smile, the happiness he brought to others, and his unwavering love for motorbikes. In the wake of his passing, the request for respect of privacy for the farewell events serves as a reminder of the personal loss felt by those closest to him. As we reflect on his life and career, let us honor his memory by embracing the spirit of adventure and joy that he so vividly embodied. Carl's Falcon's journey may have ended, but the trails he blazed and the lives he touched will continue to inspire. He lived his dream, racing with passion and leaving a lasting mark in the hearts of many. Tribute to Carl's Falcon Today's top headlines. News 1. Captain Philip Mike Broderick, a respected Des Moines firefighter and Army veteran, passed away January 15th following a brave battle with stage 4 liver cancer. Broderick, who served 16 years with the fire department and two decades in the Army, inspired the community with his courage and dedication. Last November, in recognition of his service and struggle, building homes for heroes paid off Broderick's mortgage. This gesture highlighted the profound impact he had on those around him. Fellow firefighter Joe Van Halen paid tribute to Broderick, honoring him not just as a firefighter and veteran, but as a beloved husband, father, and friend. The Des Moines Police Department also expressed their condolences, acknowledging the loss felt by the entire community. Broderick is survived by his wife, Emily, and daughters Grace, Ireland, Piper, and Campbell. His legacy as a dedicated public servant and family man will continue to inspire and be remembered by all who knew him. News 2. CJ Perry, formerly known as Lana in WWE and now an AEW star, is bravely fighting an MRSA infection in her finger. After an initial surgery in December, Perry faced complications, leading to additional hospital visits. In a recent social media update, Perry described the severity of her situation, including a relapse due to antibiotics failing. She underwent a painful procedure to remove infected tissue a critical step towards her recovery. Now Perry's treatment involves regular wound care, daily checkups with her surgeon, and a new antibiotic regimen showing positive results. She remains committed to keeping fans informed about her progress. This health challenge has temporarily sidelined Perry from her AEW storyline, where she was working with Andrade El Idolo and her real-life husband Miro. It's currently unclear when she will return to television. News 3. Vadzim Krasko, a Belarusian political prisoner, has tragically passed away at 50 due to pneumonia after being denied proper medical care in a penal colony near Vitebsk. His death, reported by the Vyazna Human Rights Center, has drawn attention to the severe conditions in Belarusian prisons. Krasko, an IT specialist, was imprisoned for supporting opposition groups. Leonid Sudalenka, a fellow political prisoner, 
described the brutal treatment of inmates, including routine bullying and denial of medical care. The situation in Belarusian prisons has worsened since the 2020 election, which saw President Alexander Lukashenko secure a sixth term amid widespread claims of fraud. This led to massive protests, resulting in over 35,000 arrests and the shutdown of numerous independent media outlets. News 4. Liz Wanyoik, a renowned educator and entrepreneur and the visionary founder of the Nairobi Institute of Business Studies, has passed away at the age of 73. Her death on Sunday night has been attributed to cancer. Wanyoik's remarkable journey from educator to the pioneering leader of a prominent business education institution has left a significant legacy. In addition to founding NIBS, Wanyoik was also the owner of the Emory Hotel and Lizzie Wanyoik Preparatory School. Her family's eulogy honors her as a transformative figure in education and entrepreneurship, one who inspired and touched many lives with her passion, kindness, and wisdom. Her influence and contributions to business education and entrepreneurship have made a strong impact, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire future generations. News 5. Stephen John Laybutt, an esteemed Australian soccer player, has tragically passed away at the age of 46. Laybutt's career, marked by his time with Dutch club Feyenoord and a loan spell at Lynn Oslo, came to an early close due to limited first-team opportunities. He returned to Australia in 2002, and his career was further impacted by an Achilles tendon rupture in 2008, sidelining him for the rest of the A-League season. Beyond the pitch, Laybutt was known for his impactful personal life. Following his retirement from soccer, he openly came out as gay and dedicated his life to helping others. He worked in the rehabilitation unit at St. Vincent's Hospital in Sydney, where he notably donated a kidney to a patient, Ian Pavey, exemplifying his generous spirit. Laybutt's untimely death has left a void in the hearts of many, particularly in the Australian soccer scene, where he is remembered both for his athletic prowess and his remarkable acts of kindness. News 6. Dennis Conahan, the esteemed goalkeeper who played for Celtic and St. Mirren, has died at the age of 79 after an illness. Conahan's career was marked by significant achievements, including three league titles and a Scottish Cup victory with Celtic. His time at Celtic was distinguished by two periods, from 1963 to 1977, featuring in the 1974 European Cup semi-final against Atletico Madrid. Conaghan also played for St. Mirren for seven years and had stints with Morton, Clyde, Renfrew, and Arthur Lee. Celtic FC paid tribute to Conaghan, noting his 56 appearances for the club and his vital role in various championship victories. One of his most notable performances was saving two penalties against Rangers in the 1974 Drybrow Cup Final, a memorable highlight of his career. News 7. Alec Musser, known for his role in All My Children, has passed away at the age of 50 at his home in Del Mar, California. The news of his death on January 12th has left fans and the entertainment industry in mourning, with the cause of death yet to be revealed. Page Press, Musser's fiance, expressed her profound grief on Instagram, sharing a heartfelt message. R.I.P. to the love of my life. I will never stop loving you. My heart is broken. Today is the worst day of my life. We were so happy. You were the best fiancé I could have ever asked for. Her words reflect the deep love and sorrow felt in the wake of Mooser's untimely departure. Fans and colleagues alike have been sending prayers and condolences, recognizing Mooser's impact both on and off the screen. His legacy in the entertainment industry and the fond memories shared by those who knew him personally will continue to live on. News 8. Veteran NASCAR crew chief Ryan Pemberton has passed away at 54. Renowned for his role as JR Motorsports Competition Director, Pemberton was a key figure in winning three drivers' championships in the NASCAR Xfinity Series program. During his 10-year tenure at JR Motorsports, Pemberton's leadership and expertise were instrumental, particularly highlighted by guiding Reagan Smith to victory. His impact was acknowledged by Kelly Earnhardt Miller, who noted, Ryan was instrumental to JR Motorsports' success. His career also featured victories in both the Xfinity and Cup Series, working with notable drivers like Joe Nemechek and Brian Vickers. A member of a prominent racing family, he began his NASCAR journey in 1988. Number 1. Mila de Jesus, 
a Brazilian-born influencer and a beacon of inspiration in the weight loss community, sadly passed away at the age of 35 due to suspected cardiac arrest. Her sudden departure leaves behind a legacy of transformation, resilience, and an indomitable spirit that touched the lives of many, including her four children and her newlywed husband, George Kausik. Rising to fame after her significant weight loss journey, she became a symbol of determination and self-improvement. Her story was not just about physical transformation. It was a testament to the power of change and the strength of the human spirit. Six years ago, her decision to undergo weight loss surgery marked a turning point in her life, leading to a new chapter where she embraced both health and happiness. Her presence on social media, particularly on Instagram and YouTube, was a source of motivation and encouragement to nearly 160,000 followers combined. Her makeup tutorials, more than mere beauty tips, were an extension of her vibrant personality and her passion for life. They resonated with a community that saw her as a figure of empowerment. Despite her challenges, including her struggle with psoriasis, Mila de Jesus faced life with courage and a positive attitude. Her openness about her health issues and her journey brought comfort and hope to many who shared similar experiences. Her impact extended beyond her public persona, deeply touching those who knew her personally. Her friend, businesswoman Eduarda Gaia, and her son, Pedro Marcal, remember her with immense love and fondness, highlighting her role as a cherished friend and a loving mother. Her life was a journey of transformation, inspiring countless individuals to embrace change and pursue their dreams. Her legacy is a reminder of the power of resilience and the beauty of a life lived with purpose and passion. Tribute to Mila de Jesus